welcome you to uh, another episode of Osteo Talk. Uh, and as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about uh, U.S. state animal parts laws. And there will be a link in the description uh, to where all of this information came from, which is the Green Wolf. And um, let's get to it. So laws vary from state to state, so it's important to know the differences if you are mailing or otherwise transporting wildlife remains across state lines. I am not a lawyer, and this is not legal advice. When in doubt, contact your state fish and game department. There are a few topics and regulations that are pretty consistent among most or all states. You will still need to research your state's particular rules, regulations, and other parameters. Every state has its own list of endangered or threatened native species of animals and plants. Uh, generally speaking, it is illegal to harvest parts of those animals in those states. So some states allow certain exceptions with a permit uh, or do not prohibit uh, parts of those species legally taken in another state. Please review the state regulations to determine restrictions on owning parts of these animals, as well as lists of animals considered endangered or threatened. And please do not assume specific examples given, which primarily, though not exclusively, concern game animals. Uh, are the only species affected. Generally speaking, states require taxidermy permits for anyone performing taxidermy and sometimes high tanning for a fee. Uh, almost all states require a license to buy and sell raw untanned hides of fur bears taken in that state. And in many states, you are not allowed to possess the carcasses of raw hides of game animals beyond a certain period of time past the open season on those animals unless you are a licensed taxidermist and or fur dealer. In certain states, a fur dealer or taxidermist license is required for other sales, etc. Uh, involving parts other than raw hides and carcasses. Generally speaking, most states also require tagging for otter and bobcat hides, and some states require tagging or uh, permanent seals for hides and or other parts of other species. Most states have restrictions on importing cervid, deer, elk, etc., cervid parts from other states due to chronic wasting disease. Generally, though not universally, the hides and antlers are allowed, but the brain and nervous system are prohibited due to their ability to carry CWD. Please note that some states have laws governing the collection of roadkill of some or all species. The list of notable restricted species, including those other than native state endangered or threatened species in your state, may not be complete. Follow the link in the description and scroll down to your state for links to laws plus additional restrictions and commentary. There are restrictions on exporting cervids out of the chronic wasting disease area. The hide, head, antlers, and feet of deer and hide, head, and skull of black bears may be sold. There are limitations on exporting certain wildlife parts. A license is required to trade in raw furs, and exported raw hides must be clearly marked on the pack age and certain raw hides or parts must be tagged within 30 days of the close of the hunting slash trapping season. 
Roadkill, except for birds, spotted fawns, and bear cubs, may be possessed with a permit if reported to the state within 12 hours.